Hi, my Snapseed photography peeps. This is Rita, and I am going to show you how I went from this picture to this picture. If you look and see over in the right hand side, you will see that I have removed a uh, little piece of man made stuff in the picture. And over on the left hand side, close to where my signature is, I also removed a rock. And it's not anything major, but it caught my eye and I wanted to remove it. I lightened and brightened. And let me show you what I did. So let's go into the edits. Here's the original picture. And this thing right here, I wanted to get rid of this. Just because I felt like it didn't really go in the picture even though it was actually there on this little rock down here it just kind of caught my eye and I didn't much care for it this picture was taken last night on the 505 in far west Texas I was coming home and it had been raining as you can see the puddles of water the sun was going down and everything had a really pretty red orange color to it and the mountains in the background yes Texas does have mountains so the first thing I did was I pulled off the road and probably got stuck in the mud. I didn't realize it yet at that point, but I uh, had to call a friend and <laughs> come help me get out. It was a fun evening. So let's go to the healing and let me show you what, what I did. I just zoomed in really, really close here. And got rid of this little post. They call it a T post. And undo, undo that. Oops. So I just went in, and you can just barely see right there where it was. I was pretty happy with how that turned out. I also zoomed in here, and I got rid of that little rock that was down there. Not a really big deal, but it just kind of, to me, was a distraction. It's just minor. Sometimes you'll find little bits of trash, things like that, in your landscape photography. And little man-made things, and they are easy enough to remove. So let's hit the apply. And we will exit out of here. And the next thing I did was I wanted to kind of brighten this up a little bit, bring out some of the details. So I went into the HDR scape. And let's go in here, take a look and see what I did. I have it on people because that is a very subtle kind of, uh, kind of edit. Nature is a little more, a little harder. And there's fine and there's strong. Now, I have this knocked back quite a bit here at this negative 61%. Just because I didn't want it really, really bright, really, really blown out. So, let's see if I can get back to there. There we go. I just wanted it subtle. I just wanted to bring out some of the highlights. And on my uh, saturation, I also knocked the saturation back. Brightness. Brought the brightness up a little bit. And the filter strength is really just real minor hair, plus 10%. I did not want a huge, well, that looks pretty cool. I didn't want a huge, huge change on this, just a little bit. So let's close out of here. Now, the sky, can you see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the sky has a little tiny bit of pixelation in it. And I wanted to smooth that out just a little bit. So I went in with the lens blur. Let me show you what I did on that. I took the vignette out because I didn't want any darkness. I didn't want any darkness up here in my corners. And so in the blur strength, I blurred it pretty much. 88% could have gone up to 100. Doesn't matter. And I squeezed the little... Uh, circle down to an ellipse 
and I just wanted the sky, really. That's all I wanted. Now, it did catch some of the trees up here and some of this down here. It didn't really matter because I was going to go in and paint it in anyhow. So we'll apply that. I'm going to close it because I just I like how, what I've already done. But I went in with the paintbrush. And let me show you with the mask where I painted it. Just up here in the top. Just, just up here in the top parts. And didn't need it to go down any farther than that. And in order to get this nice blur here, I painted it in where I wanted it. And then I shrunk the picture down just a little bit so that my brush was really large and I just barely painted it in. They went in where the trees are, this cloud and over here where the mountain is and I just blurred it up just a little bit, softened the edge so that it was not coming down into my foreground or my mountains or the cloud. So let's close that. And then the next thing I did was I added my name down here. And it's as simple as that. So I took I took a really kind of a cool picture to begin with and took out a couple of artifacts that I didn't like, a couple of man-made artifacts, brightened it up a little bit, brought out some of the details, and that's it. So my truck is a little bit before this, a little bit before this picture, and I'm actually stuck in the mud. It had rained there, and didn't realize it when I pulled off. I pulled off into the grass thinking, ah, the grass, I'll be able to get out of there. Felt pretty soft when I pulled off. Went and took pictures anyhow, and uh, fortunately had enough of a cell phone service to be able to make a phone call. Phone friend and uh, came with an even bigger truck, four-wheel drive, and pulled me out. So it was quite a fun evening. Got a bunch of good pictures. I think this is my best one. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this process. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Thank you. Talk to you later.